Cats are wonderful pets. They are loving and friendly, but they also tend to be independent and relatively self-sufficient. Many cats are pretty darn brilliant, and it's fun to compare notes on the great ways our cats show their intelligence. In the story Zhang Animal's mom is sharing today, the cat Puka saves a woman's life. I was a dog person for 40 years until a white cat showed up at my doorstep during a violent rainstorm. When I opened the door, he darted in and wrapped himself around my legs. Since we had fish aquariums, parakeets, doves, a canary and finches, I scooped him up and put him in the basement laundry room. I decided that as soon as my 12-year-old son came home from school, we would drive the cat to a shelter. 20 minutes went by and I went down to switch the clothes into the dryer. There sat the cat with three dead mice laid in a neat row in front of the washer. I patted his head and gave him a bite of canned chicken. The rain continued and I again went downstairs to switch the laundry. I found the cat intently raking his paws back and forth under the front of the dryer. I said, nice kitty, are you looking for another mouse? He withdrew his paw wrapped around a $20 bill. I was flabbergasted. Knowing nothing about cats, I phoned my neighbor who showed up moments later with cat litter and three cans of food. Then my son arrived home and promptly fell in love with this pure white yellow-eyed cat. He named the cat Puka. He had been reading a lot of folk tales and said a Puka was a mischievous spirit who always took the form of a white animal. I then remembered an old movie with Jimmy Stewart and a large white rabbit named Harvey, who was a Puka. Puka Cat went on to influence many lives. He once saved mine. I had a chicken cooking on the stove and I fell asleep. I woke from a sound sleep with a cat on my chest pummeling me with his paws and making a strange growling sound I'd never heard before. I kept pushing him away so I could sleep. But he kept at it until I was fully awake and realized there was a haze in the air and a horrible smell. Now awake, I went into the kitchen and turned off the stove, opening the windows just as the smoke alarm decided to go off. When he was about five years old, we discovered Puka had a heart defect and we were told he might live another five years without medication. But we got the heart pills, which he took daily with no protest. At age 10, he became ill and the vet told us, your cat has diabetes and requires a special diet and insulin shots twice a day. With our son in college and expenses tight, we decided we would at least make the attempt. The vet said he probably would only live another year or two. So, every morning, the cat jumped up on the footstool and faced east for his morning shot, and in the evening he would do the same and face west. He was an awesome patient and did not mind going to the vet for regular checkups. He learned to travel in the car with us. Age 12, he again seemed to be failing. The vet said the cat has hypothyroidism, which meant more pills. The medical expense was now considerable, so we contacted our pharmacy at Sam's Club and we managed to squeak by with his scripts. Two years went by and we learned of a program called Pets for Life. Animals were temperament tested and those that passed were certified to visit patients in hospital and care centers. Puka passed with flying colors and became their second cat in the program of 50 dogs. His patients were mainly at a geriatric center, a juvenile psych ward and extended care ward. Sometimes he and I worked alone and sometimes we were paired with a dog in the program. Most people wanted dog visits, but cat lovers were surprised and delighted to find him visiting. He quickly became a favorite when people learned his story and exclaimed, Oh, he's on the same medications as I am. On one visit, a patient had a medical emergency. Something happened to the IV and multiple alarms began to sound off. 
Luca and I backed into a corner. Five minutes later, three nurses had everything under control. That's when a nurse noticed us and was amazed we were there. She said, if my cat was here, he would have been climbing the drapes. Finally, at age 16, Puka developed kidney failure and he told us it was time to let him go. We called our vet and he met us at a local park and we helped Puka cross the Rainbow Bridge. Our pets are so precious to us. They are far more than just animals that we look after and have around for company. They become our best friends and part of the family. Although it's very easy to bond emotionally with our pets, sharing a cuddle or playing games together, but being on the same wavelength intellectually is less common. Sure you can train your cat, but what we have here are true geniuses, unique personalities that go far beyond what we would imagine from an animal. So, what is the smartest thing your cat has ever done? Please share your story with us. Thanks for watching our video. See you and goodbye.